In this video, we are going to go through the Kanban view for project tasks within Inspire Planner. A Kanban board visually depicts your project tasks at various stages. Cards represent work items and columns represent each task status. To switch to a Kanban view on the project, click on the Kanban view icon at the top right corner. Now the Kanban view only supports up to three tiers of project tasks. The overall project, which is typically your Tier 1, Parent Tasks, which will be Tier 2, and Child Tasks, which will be Tier 3. Subtasks beyond the three tiers are not depicted on the Kanban board. Now when you switch to Kanban View, the overall project, which is your Tier 1, and Parent Tasks, which are your Tier 2, are displayed in a list on the left. All child tasks within the project are then displayed at the bottom within the Kanban board. Now in the Gantt chart, each child task is represented by a square. So if we were to take a look at the first parent task entitled Project Kickoff, you'll notice that it has three child tasks, each task represented by its own square. Now, if you would like to view the child tasks of a specific parent task, simply click on the parent task within the list on the left. The Kanban board below will refresh and only display the children of the parent tasks you selected. To go back to view all child tasks for the project, just click on the show all button at the top right corner. At the bottom right corner of each task is an assignment indicator. If the task is assigned to a resource, the assignment indicator appears in green. If it is grayed out, then it means that a task has not been assigned to a resource. To view the resource assigned to the task, simply click on the assignment indicator. The assigned resource is selected within the list. Now to assign a task to a resource, simply go back to the assignment indicator and then select the resource you would like to assign the task to. You can select multiple resources if needed. Now to change the status of a task, simply drag the task to the appropriate column. Inspire Planner will automatically update the task status and change the card color to reflect its status. You'll also notice that the Gantt chart above also changes the color of the square representing the task according to its status. Now, if you would like to go back to the project task list view, click on the task list view icon at the top right corner. This concludes the video on Inspire Planner's Kanban view. We encourage you to check out our other videos and help articles to learn more about Inspire Planner.